So I thought I would have a little review of Windows 10 running on Raspberry Pi because Microsoft released uh, some new tools and uh, obviously this will be the latest build. Uh, I've not looked at it for a few months. Uh, so I decided to have a little look. This utility that I'm using here is the uh, latest build of the IoT dashboard which seems to be updated. It now includes uh, a nice little utility to download the ISO and flash the SD card with it. Uh, I have speeded this up for uh, not to make the video too boring watching it unpack it and install it onto the SD card. Uh, this is much nicer than how it used to be when Windows 10 was first released because uh, it's all in one tool and you don't have to go off and find another tool to get Windows 10 onto your SD card to then insert into the uh, Raspberry Pi. So we're just waiting for it to unpack. This is back in real time. Then it just checks you want to wipe the uh, flash card, uh, which it then does, and then copies the image across to the flash card. Uh, again, this, this section speeded up uh, roughly about two times as fast as it re was in real time. Once this is done, you, you're then ready to boot up the, the Pi, uh, which is what I'm doing here now. So at this point, I've put the SD card back into the Pi and powered the Pi on. And then it boots into sort of a uh, out of box experience for Raspberry Pi, very similar to Windows 10 when you log on for the first time on a new install. Now I did have a wireless adapter plugged into the Raspberry Pi as well as a uh, Microsoft Nano wireless adapter off a of Microsoft uh, wireless mouse 600 mobile mouse 600. Um, the mouse worked fine, but the wireless adapter. Uh, unfortunately, as you will see, uh, wouldn't get an IP address. So this is build uh, 10586. So it looks like Microsoft's uh, tidied up the interface a little bit, um, built in the tutorials in, into the Pi or onto the Pi directly. You've just got some basic preferences and this is where I discovered the Wi-Fi wasn't working. I tried to get it working by doing the old click 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 on refresh. It didn't work. And then this is just me clicking around just trying to figure out what's new. Uh, I tried to click on the time to see what it would let me set the date and time. It didn't work. And then I decided to uh, try and get the wireless working again. <laughs> Didn't quite work. And then uh, shortly I uh, reboot the Pi just to see how quick it is booting up after it's booted up once. Because uh, the Microsoft instructions uh, do say that it will take up to two minutes to boot f for the first boot uh, once, once you've copied the image over to the uh, flash. So I give it a restart and it boots fairly quickly, about 40 seconds I think it is, might be less. Okay. So yeah, this is a real-time boot. It's about 40 seconds, 45 seconds, I think. There we go. So now I've basically put a network cable into the Pi uh, just to get some network connectivity going on. And this is how you manage the device now. Again, this has been updated. Uh, I just had a little click around to see if anything else new appeared once the Pi was seen on the network. Um, so I decided to have a quick look at the uh, web page to see whether that had been updated at all. Uh, 
pretty much the web page looks the same. There's a few new little niceties in there, like being able to change the device name and reset the password from the web page, which I don't think was there before. Um, this is me just changing the password. I don't know, Chrome didn't render the web page correctly for some reason, which is why it's sort of cut off into the top left hand corner. I'm not too sure why that happened. Uh, a little bit later on I, re I resize the window and it, it, it snaps into place. Just a small uh, rendering, rendering issue. There used to be a sort of a uh, mirrorcast app in within this, uh, but that seems to have been taken out, which is a shame. I was hoping they were going to fill that out and maybe get that working, but uh, you never know; it might come in a future release. I love these charts. Um, I, I would like to see this on real Windows 10. It'd be amazing to be able to do this uh, to go to localhost or something and see these these charts on a on a full build of Windows 10 or Windows Server especially. Uh, I think they're really nice and update really nice. It's quite nice in the audio now that they've uh, added the volume and microphone uh, controls. Uh, nice, easy way to jump onto a Pi and adjust the volume for the speakers if needed be. Again, the wireless still wasn't detected, unfortunately. Uh, so yeah, this is just a quick recap. Uh, hopefully you won't think I've just repeated the same video. I just wanted to see, I've not looked at Windows 10 or Raspberry Pi for a little while. Uh, I just wanted to see where Microsoft were up to and what the differences were, so I thought I would uh, share my, my investigation. Uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, and uh, yeah, please come back for some more videos. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Thanks.